Welcome back to County Line Sports. I'm your host, Bill Downing. And when you talk about defense, you got to talk about this guy. Big number 52 from the West Michigan Ironman, Luther Robinson Jr. And uh, Mr. Robinson, welcome to County Line Sports. Well, thank you for having me. I tell you, I've had a chance to meet you on the field after the games. I tell you, you're a genuinely great guy, a great football player. You give time for the fans. My daughter absolutely adores you. Every time she gets there, she wants a picture with you. Uh, you're a great guy, and the Ironmen are doing some pretty special things here in their very first season uh, here at West Michigan. Um, how did you get involved with the West Michigan Ironmen? Because looking at your uh, past here, uh, you were from the Virginia area, the Hampton area. Uh, for your university. How did you get involved with Terrence and head coach Ty Link? Um, now, uh, what it was is that um, after I was on a bit in Virginia for like 10 years, I came back home. Um, my mother and my grandma stayed in Detroit, so I came back home to help out with them. Um, and I got with uh, Terrence was um, a friend of mine uh, called me about a, um, a private workout um that they were having. So mm-hmm. he asked me that I wanted to come talk to Coach Link, and I came up there, and I think that was their first private workout. So I worked out for him, did a couple of drills, um, did all the combine and stuff that they do. Mm-hmm. And uh, before I left out the building, they offered me a contract. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's pretty much how I got um, involved with the West Michigan Ironman. Now, did did you uh, did you feel comfortable as soon as you walked in there, like with uh, Terrence and Ty? Because I tell you, getting to know those guys, I, I think that they are very uh, easy to get along with. And the fact that they offered you a position before you can even get out of the arena uh, just goes to show uh, they're great guys, and you're a great athlete. Oh yes, like and and that's what I um, expressed to them and to everybody that um, that I talked to about them, like. They're they're a good group of guys. Um, their character is is off the charts. Like they they not only they're coaches but they're good people as well. They mm-hmm. want to put a good product out just for the fans. They don't want to just put out good ball players. They want to put out role models for the kids. Right. And that was that was good for me. So. And I think that's something that you your message is uh, one of a positive approach to everything, and I think that's what makes it such a great fit that you are so positive in every, everything you do, even when you're out on the football field. I mean, you know, in, in the middle of the war, in the trenches there, uh, everything is positive. And, and I know one of the things that, uh, uh, you know, looking at you, you know, the message has always been positive, and I think that's what got you to this point. Yes, yes. I mean, we 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 are all good football players. Obviously, all of us out there on the field because we can't play football. Mm-hmm. But then, what what distinguish us, what distinguish each of us, is who's going to have good character at the end of the day. Who's going to be respectful? Who's going to, you know, what I'm saying, have the self control? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. we can hit and bam all day long, right. but can we respect <laughs> ourselves? Pick each other up and pick up the opposite team too. Right. <laughs> so. That was that's my thing, and that's what Coach Link and and the rest of the coaches staff want to promote to as well for the for the viewers too. Absolutely, and you know when you look back, uh, you know with your education, Hampton University there in Hampton, Virginia. I was stationed in the Norfolk area and had a chance to come over and uh, watch some football at Hampton U. And I'm telling you, you talk about some hard hitting football. Uh, great oh, yeah. university, and uh, you're a certified fitness and nutrition specialist. And I'm telling you, I've had a chance to shake your hand. You're a strong man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what everybody said too. That's a um, Coaches said too, especially when we went down to the when I had the work private workout, we did the two twenty five bench press test, Oof. and uh, they was I guess they was kind of shocked when I knocked it out forty three times. <laughs> so, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so yeah, I mean. I try to, I try to, I try to, I try to uh, promote health too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to because I tell you, you know, in uh, even when you're not playing football, if you're not staying healthy, uh, you're not doing your body any good. And I tell you, uh, your workout regimen is second to none. You know, I've I've taken a look at some of the uh, uh, things you've done in the past, and uh, man, I tell you, you are definitely uh, a work of art when it comes to a, a body because uh, you, you keep your body in top notch uh, form and you're ready to play all the time and I think the fact that what you do to uh, help keep your body strong will help you on the football field and limit injuries oh yeah that, that's exactly that's exactly right that's that's what I also been to, uh, 
talk, talking to my teammates too. I helped them out. They asked me some pointers. Mm-hmm. What should they eat? What should they work out? Because we already know that, you know, saying our body is our our tool to do our job. So mm-hmm. the more, the longer, and the more efficient you want to do your job, the better you need to take care of your body. So right. that's what I. That's what I try to tell them. Well, I can tell you, I talk to head coach Ty Link every week here on the show, and your name always comes up. He calls you the veteran, the father of the defense. You're kind of the core. You are the one that uh, uh, everybody looks up to, and you guys are working like uh, a team I've never seen before. I call you guys' defense the swarm because that's what you guys do. Uh, You know, with him calling you the father of the defense and being the veteran and stuff, uh, that has to carry a lot of weight with you that, you know, a lot of people look at you and say, Hey man, you know what? What do we need to do? And you always are putting people in the right positions, you know, before the plays. Uh, that has to make you feel good that the coach looks up to you as the uh, as the leader on the defense. Oh man, yes, it really does. I mean, it's 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 almost to me a, a big form of respect to mm-hmm. me, and I pre- and I to, and I express to him every time before we play. I appreciate it and, th- and thank you for giving me this opportunity. I mean, the biggest part of the defense that I love so much is that even though we're all a different group of guys, come from different backgrounds, mm-hmm. our chemistry is 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 ridiculous. Like, oh, I know. <laughs> and I think and I think that is ninety percent of why we're winning is because of the chemistry. I think the other ten percent is because of our talent, our intensity, our dedication, our focus. But it's more because of our chemistry. We we all really work together real well. Oh, I know. And, Off- offensively, Luther, you guys are just going off the charts, and I think that makes your job easier on defense because it forces the offense that you're going up against to do things that they normally wouldn't do because they're so far behind, and you guys right. just swarm to the ball. And I'm telling you, when I, every time I look at the stat sheet, y- y- you've got fumble recoveries, you've got safeties. I mean, uh, y- you've got your corners and your safeties uh, picking uh, pick sixes all the time. Your guys' is pressure yeah. Is what really leads to all of that. Yes, yes, and and that's what our good coaching staff. I mean, our coaching staff is is well equipped. I mean, we have Coach Link with his with his uh, coaching experience. We got uh, Josh Kerr, mm-hmm. Coach Coon, Coach White, Coach Ferguson. I mean, we have a group group of coaches, Coach Brown. We have a good group of coaches that actually have professional experience themselves. So they're bringing a whole different type of coaching level to us so i mean it's it's kind of it's kind of benefit and a benefit and a blessing to be coached by these guys and put us in the right places especially for our dbs and our, mm-hmm. our defensive line our defensive line is 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 well-rounded i mean we all can be we all versatile i mean each one of us can play different positions oh, yeah. we have deep yeah. we have deep we have a nose tackle who can play defensive end we have two defensive ends who can also play Jack and Mac linebacker. We got Mac uh, Jack who can play corner. So <laughs> I mean, we're not just one sided. Right. We, it's almost like we, we it's almost like we got like a three D defense. I know when I sit so, down next to the PA announcer and I'm I'm spotting for him and I, I get to see you guys up close and personal while while you guys are playing. It's just it's just sick to watch you guys go because you're just like you said it. Anybody can play anywhere and that's what I think scares the offense is they don't know where it's coming from. They don't know who's right. covering who and you guys are just so darn good. It just it, it and I use the word sick in, in a good way because you guys are just a beast on defense. You put so much pressure. You know exactly what the reads are. You. you you guys, it's just an amazing season. Uh, looking at six and one, you got a couple weeks off before you travel to Chicago for the final regular season game. And uh, you know, mm-hmm. Co- Coach Link said he gave you guys a couple uh, a couple days off. You guys will get back in the game form sometime next week. And uh, looking at Chicago, you guys have already seen them once at the Foundry. Uh, do you think that they're really going to change anything up when you come into that final regular season game at the Odium in Chicago? Um, well, I don't know if they're going to change anything up, but I, I, what I do know from personal experiences, the home team is always different than the away team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I agree. I, agree. I, ex- I ex- yeah, I expect to see a lot, a lot more, a lot more different, uh, schemes than I saw here at our home field. So I'm not taking each team I'm not I don't take each team lightly right. anyway, but I definitely don't take a team, especially a game that they came to us and it was a it was mm-hmm. a, a fight. I think that was thirty four thirty that we won beat them by. Yeah, it was very you're so, right. You're right. 
Yeah, that was a close game, and that was at our home. Yes, and they were away, so I'm expecting a fallout, a full out war going there. So we need to be ready, prepared, and uh, ready to go because this is our last game, and we're trying to keep our home field advantage mm-hmm. in the playoffs. So absolutely, and I tell you, the Foundry is a great place to play. Uh, you know, you have the scoreboard effect, which I think makes. The, the, the Foundry, very unique place to play. And I think that makes defense even more important due to the fact that, you know, they have to either throw left or right of the uh, scoreboard or throw it really low. Uh, it really doesn't give them much time, right. and you guys are right in their face. Now, you guys uh, beat Cincinnati 107 to nothing, and Coach Ling said, you know what, I'm not really impressed with the 107 points and the records. He's more impressed with the zero that was put up, and that was put up by you guys on the defense, and he really pointed out that you guys scored on you guys scored 10 times on defense. I mean, that's on heard of and like he said the 107 he says that's fine everybody got to get in and play he was more impressed with the zero do you agree with him um yeah i mean the 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 zero that game because that team we let them score six points last time right right and coach our defensive coordinator coach kerr and coach link (laughs) they they was like yeah we 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 let them score we want to shut out so that was actually a defensive goal of ours Mm -hmm. to do Right, and you guys so, and you guys really did it too. Because I looked at the stat sheet again. I used the word "sick" because that's exactly what it was. You guys just were. They had no answers. Absolutely no answers for you guys. Yeah. Now let me ask you this: After a game like that, you get two weeks off and you go into Chicago. Um, could could anybody on the team basically be saying, "Okay, you know, we scored 107 points. We can walk in there and just dance on these guys." Is there anybody looking at this game saying, "Hey, this is going to be an easy one because that could be a trap game because these guys aren't going to be in the playoffs and you guys are fighting for home field uh throughout at least to the championship game." Right. And you know, that is a possibility that um egos can come into play Mm -hmm. but I think the one thing that I do like and respect about a coaching staff is that once we get to practice before we go to Chicago Mm -hmm. they have a good they have a a knack for keeping you grounded (laughs) so I I mean any any bubbles that might be floating in the air right best believe they will be popped before we go to Chicago absolutely so that is the is time and I mean when we was at the game anyway playing against Cincinnati uh, coach Lynn kept kept informing us, hey, it's not about this, it's about Chicago right. and the playoffs. So we had to make sure we kept that in mind. Well, I, I couldn't agree with you more, and that is good coaching right there because, you know, when you get to 107 points and you're breaking records for arena football, I mean, that's pretty special night, but you also have to remember uh, the, the task at hand, one game at a time, and you guys are at 6-1, and one and you lead the Northern Division. Uh, and, and, I mean, home field, first season, that would just be so awesome. Let me ask you this. Why did you pick – the number 52, because when I played football, I had a special number that I always wanted. Why did you pick number 52? Um, I picked number 52 because, I mean, it's a special number to me. I mean, yeah, we, we see all the big-time football players. Mm-hmm. Every Almost every defensive team always have these superstar wear 52. Yep. You got Clay Matthews, Ray Lewis. Mm-hmm. You got Khalid Mack off the Oakland Raiders. I mean, yes, it's a it's a well known number, but to me, especially, I mean, I'm a I'm a, a spiritual person, and mm-hmm. I believe in my Lord and Savior, who even blessed me every day to play this game because right. obviously this is the type of game that could end right. your career in an right. instant. So, I mean, the number 52 put together is seven, and that's completion for me. So that's why I like the number. That that's awesome. Yeah, and and I I knew you were. Uh... Uh, spiritual guy, and I tell you, that really makes a lot of sense. And talking about uh, uh, your team, you know, a good friend of yours and uh, a friend of uh, of the show here, Corey Johnson, you know, he went down with that uh, ankle injury and so forth. But uh, how is he doing? Because, you know, they had to be just, a, just take the wind out of your guys' sails, you know, to see him go down mm-hmm. like that because he's uh, such an intricate part of that team offensively and, and just as a teammate. Uh, how's he doing? Um, he's doing well. Like that night, he actually went into surgery. Mm. They put screws and bolts in his in his uh, in his ankle. Mm. So I mean, yes, that was a a, a big drop and a big part of our offense. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I mean, but as a person, I mean, he's doing well uh, mentally and emotionally. I mean, he has a strong character as well. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna push through it, come back. He's not gonna take this as a setback. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, so I mean, he 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 responded real well. I mean, he didn't seem to be down. He understood about the game and things happen, mm-hmm. and he's just gonna get better and come back stronger next time. Right. Um. I mean, but the good thing about it is, is that even though Corey Johnson is a big part of our offense, he did go down. I mean, we had other guys that mm-hmm. could step up and to replace him and keep the train um, rolling. But best believe we all miss Corey Johnson and oh, his theatrics on the field. So in his in his yeah. big part of the, that offense that we have. So. Absolutely. And one thing I, I like about your guys' team, uh, your second string, your third strings, those guys are good enough to start anywhere in the arena football yeah. league. That's what makes you guys, I think, the very best team offensively, defensively. And, and I think, you know, genuinely you guys are the best. I mean, when you take a look at what you guys do for the fans, you know, you don't have to stay afterwards and, and do what you guys do. And I tell you, you, you make a lot of kids uh, happy and you, they smile. They love taking pictures with you, get autographs. And, and I think you guys do a really awesome things. Like I said, I've gotten a chance to uh, shake your hand oh, three, four times now. And my daughter had the picture taken with with you. You're just a great guy, and the entire team is just awesome to be around. And I, and I can't thank you enough. And uh, tell Corey that our prayers and thoughts are with him, and hopefully for a speedy recovery, and hopefully he can be at some of the, the playoff games too to kind of root you guys on. Oh, yeah. Thank, well, we thank you too, Bill. I appreciate your support and, and coming down and your family to come down supporting us at the field too. Well, I tell you, so. you, you, made, you, you made my daughter uh, twinkle in her eye when you signed that football because I tell you, she won't let anybody touch that football, including me. So <laughs> <laughs> she, you know, she absolutely loves you guys. And, and congratulations on a great season. And uh, we will see you down in Chicago when you guys take on the Blitz. Uh, enjoy your family. Uh, stay safe during the practice week. And uh, go get them on the 28th. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate hey, it. No problem. That was Luther Robinson Jr., big number 52 from the West Michigan Ironman, 6-1. and one. They got two weeks off, then they'll take on the Chicago Blitz on the 28th in Villa Park, Illinois, at the Odium. We'll be right back with more County Line Sports right after this.